Look, Shay. Look at Uncle Mark. <laughs> You'll be the life of the party. Get the cheese, baby. You'll be the life of the party. Kick your coach cheese out here with Tex, Papa Zello, and then I end down with ladies. Heading out right now. Mikey Kazo, boy, you just saw him getting on, right? Yeah, that's him right there. We're heading out. We're gonna be dragging Masha. All right, we'll see if we can throw, freaking talk into a mouth of a beast and release it nicely. All right, that's today's plan. Stay tuned. We're rolling right now. Please love. Oh, he's got. He's got. Michael's gonna be sports. Masha here. Plug, plug, plug. All right, but that's what we're doing. We're going to be running those bronze and gold uh, spoons today, and then we're also going to uh, oh, we're also going to do the uh, mojos. All right, we're going to be running those bad boys. See the rods in the back there. Oh yeah. All right, we're off. We're going to run. All right, players, play it. Haters, Mashak is a teaching. We got him out. Look at Michael, Team Mosh, how you back? Right there, Team Mosh, yeah. Here we go, ladies. All right, so we're out here. We're running. Mojo's up the middle. Typical Mosh spread that we do. And uh, see what happens. Really what our technique is in the BS, we're trying to load up on blues right now because we need to get bait for blackfish. Blackfish, my other point. For shark. And we're gonna see if we can snatch a couple of them with the uh, Masha spoons. We're on the gold spoon and the bronze spoon right now. Alright, folks, so there you have it. I get a quote from Masha. I was like, hey, 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 I need a damn interpreter. So I said, hey, kid, you gotta use the gold and the bronze spoons. Get killing them in Jersey with them. So I called Tony Senior. I said, Tony, what the heck did he just say? So Tony says, kid, they're using the gold and the bronze spoons over in Jersey and they're whacking them out in the ocean, alright? Oh, snap. There's Mrs. Kid right there. Hold on. Get her up here. Jeez Louise, <laughs> Mrs. Kid's in the house, a.k.a. the preacher. What do you got to say? I got to water my plants. That's what she's got, huh? Yeah, well, what do you want me to say? She's famous enough though, right? That's right. Oh yeah, Mwah. the preacher, <laughs> doing her debut in the Kid Coach Chiefs episode. So let's get back to Tony Senior. So he's like, Kid, Anthony's upstate at some cabin with one of his BFFs. I don't know what they're doing up there. He sent me some footage, I'm like, yeesh, it gets a dish. I mean, you got Primo, striped bass fishing right now, and Mosh is up at uh, some parts unknown, some cabin doing hot yoga. Whatever, I don't care, that's his choice, all right? But sure enough, we go out there on this trip and we whack him oh, on, I think, the gold spoons, yeah. and then we follow up the next day on Joey Tiles' boat. You'll be seeing that episode next after the weekend report, which is coming up also, all right? But also, we go out there and we whack him again. We started the day initially over at area trying to do that but there was like a toolbox out there every time I'm making a move cutting off I mean really you gotta think so it's, it's like almost embarrassing so I was like screw this fortunately we have other moves to make and we can find fish but you know when you're out there trolling and just because you're at a spot doesn't mean you're on the spot I mean it, I almost got embarrassed with that, to be honest with you but go out there and try to just get over yourselves you know what I'm saying I, I, I'm cringing right now in the tuna grounds with the trolling. I mean, I've been out there before and the F-bombs are flying that everybody owns, say, whatever the, whatever ledge. I don't care where you're fishing, but obviously some people out there, their egos are bigger than their boats. And that's not how way we roll, all right? We know what we're doing out there and uh, we don't flex our muscles. We just go out there. More importantly, we try to have fun, all right? That's the key to the story. If you guys are taking these things seriously, let's realize what we're doing here. We're going for fish. We're not operating on people saving their lives, right, the kid. We are going fishing. And if you guys have out there, well, not you guys, because you're the con. I love you guys. But there are people out there that take this thing just a wee bit too seriously. Like they're the, you know, the second coming of Jesus Christ, my, my, my guy. Uh, and not happening. All right, so get over yourselves. Go out there, have fun. If you're not having fun, geez, you're supposed to go out there and buy a boat. I mean, if there's anything I learned 
go out there and and enjoy the outdoors all right don't be sitting in your house sitting on the couch saying one of these days i'm going to buy that boat so go out there with your loved ones your friends and just cruise around catch some fish don't think you're a big man on campus all right but then again those are the guys that are out there you know oh, this guy's cutting the fish this guy's my friend get over yourself we're out there to have fun we're out there to catch fish, be responsible and safe, but we're out there to have fish and fish with our loved ones and our friends, all right? And have fun doing it. This shouldn't be like aggravation, like there's a guy a quarter mile out and he's, uh, you know, hey, whoever, shut up. Go out there, coexist with each other, do the right drifts, do the right, you know, wherever you troll and troll, give the guy a birth. That's it. No reason to F-bomb and do stupid on the, uh, on the radio. At least that's what I'm anticipating. I really, you know, whatever. You'll be hearing, hey, preacher, get the hell out of my way. You know what I say to that? Shut up. It's going to be hard to please everybody in this business, but that's what we're going to try to do. All right? Moral to the story is what? Take it easy. Shake it easy. I'll go on that day. Tranquilo. This is fishing. We're not splitting atoms here. We're not doing freaking open heart surgery or brain surgery or any other crazy ass surgeries that I had. I don't. Uh, just go out to have fun. Be kind to your freaking fellow anglers. Don't be a toolbox, because there are toolbox out there. Everybody knows. Right now, they're in their home right now, they're sitting on the couch saying, yeah, there's a toolbox out there. But those are the toolboxes that always say, hey, I'm a better fisherman than you. I'm a better golfer. Yeah, right, sure you are. And you're a better dancer. Yeah, right. Okay, you're the best at everything, right? Go back down to your basement, put a rubber band in your head and around, and snap out of it, right? Give a dish, my mooch. Relax. This stuff's fun stuff. It's fishing for, for the love of all mankind. It's fishing. Have fun doing it, guys and girls, all right? Go out there, buy the best freaking stuff, shoot the lock off your wallet, go out there, snatch yourself up in Everglades over at islandyachtsales.com if you got the loot to do so. If you don't have that kind of loot, go out there and buy your 24 cent console with an old motor on it. But get in the game, get your loved ones out there, get your friends out there and go do that. Or else go over and buy some mid-range boat. Whatever you can do, do it responsibly, but don't sit there and push it off any longer. All right? If I learn anything, don't push it off. Go out there, go buy your dream, and live your dream, all right? It ain't gonna happen when you're, trust me, when you're 70 now, and you say, I'm gonna, when I retire, I'm gonna do this. It's too late, coaches. Go out there, do it now. Do it responsibly. Shut up, all right? Do it responsibly, and uh, go out there and have fun. Live your life, have fun with it. Have fun with your loved ones, have fun with your friends, all right? Now where are we going with this? I think I'm just gonna go with like, now we're gonna segue into the setup, what we're using with the Maja stuff, all right? This right there, my click is broken on this reel. No bueno. These are Maja Mojo rods, and my Fugazi uh, Puma reels. There's my Kaz. There it goes, we'll fire the gun off at us. And here's the other side. Port side, pounding nice, something's good. Cameras going on there, we've got a lot of stuff going on for the uh, live hit. There you go, there you go. It's my technique if anybody wants to know it. Give you a little bird's eye up. There we go. That's how we roll. We show live shots on the coaches. There's the second one. Shooting up the starboard side right there. How are you doing? I don't know. What do you got? What are you saying right now? Just tell you about what's going on. You got your module shirt. If it, was, if it was the other machine, we'd know what those uh, fish look like on marks, but this. I, I don't know. This looks like somebody sneezed on the stuff. <laughs> Sim, Sim, Simrad, uh, help us right there. Simrad, help us. Look at what we got here for you, Simrad. We need you bad. This is like using this machine. I want to. I want to do go postal right now. Uh, it's so brutal using that machine. You know, especially when you use a Simrad in the past. It's somewhat damn easy. That's all I gotta say. All my guys have their Simrads, and I got nothing. I got garbage. I don't know what's up. What do you think about that? It's just not right. Simrad, come on. Show a 12 inch, that. actually. 12 inch? <laughs> yeah, 12. Please. Damn. Although I have to do say, you can that get I like. The autopilot was working great. All right, people, I get it, I get it. You like Garmin. Some of you guys out there like Garmin. I personally, not a big fan, all right? It is basically Chevy and Ford, right? Or Dodge, I'm a Dodge guy. I'm so used to running Simrad that it's my preference. I love the machines, they're very easy to use, and I could, use, you know, when I'm running, I'm trolling, I'm doing drifts and stuff like that, it's very easy for me with the touch screen. This Garmin I have is old school, push button, this is, yeah, it's ridiculously difficult to run, especially when you're on fish quickly. You know, you wanna make these passes, you wanna make these waypoints and stuff like that. I personally think Simrad is the way to go. That's my opinion though. I know you guys in Garmin out there, it's like, oh, I love, but I have Garmin. That's good for you. The most important thing about your machine is you have to like your machine, all right? I personally, 
I'm partial to Simrad. All right, Simrad is my peeps. Great machines. Unfortunately, the preacher doesn't have them right now. Here we go, baby. So if you're listening, how you doing ladies? All right, All right so let's go to the first fish right now. Tex is on. Mikey Cassie's work like a one on paper hanging. Pedro's ride, Michael's out there in two bucks too. Oh geez, look at that, we look at him. Mikey Cass clears the first one. Keep working, effort. I'm working. Mikey, you still got fish on? I don't know. I don't look right, but okay, bring it forward. Bring it forward, Mike. Just get the rod forward, get him working, Mike. Can I get the cigar? <laughs> oh my god, pull the cigar. <laughs> I got a free. Oh, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I got a freaking cigar. I got to put down. The F is going on here. Seriously? Shark bait. That's all this is. It's a shark bait. All right, I'm coming back to you, people. I'm sorry. Mike is still clearing those rods. He's working like nobody's business against the text. I don't know what happened with this. Could be a sea robin. I know it's not a sea robin. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a runner. He's a track star. Keep reeling, you sick f. Hi. Still on it? Yeah, he's still on it. Small. He's only small. I think rip for freaking trigger. Like nobody's business. What are you doing? No, you can't know, do that. Just, you can't do that. Just real. I mean, it's not sexy. Just no. why is why is it kicking the nuts? Mikey knows right now because he's in the middle of it. Then put the shut up boat in gear. You will shut your it's mouth. It's swimming right to me. I can't. He's swimming out. Oh, he's got back the boat. Sweet mother of little oh, things kind. Look at him go. Anthony, I hate yeah. this. Oh, it's, it's a lot. It's a good bass. It's a good bass. Oh, it's, it's a good bass. It's a, it's a, uh, it's Shit, a slap huh? bass. No. All right, Mike, Mike, put that in the rod holder. Deal with Michael. It's a, oh, it's a need a bass. Mike. Gosh. Oh, oh, boy. I'm in trouble right now. I don't know what to do. In the right Anybody. front, Mike, in the left front is a perfect eating sign. Right, we're gonna lose this week. Ah, we're screwing the pooch here. Yeah. Uh, oh boy, we're so, I am so screwing the pooch right now. I'm trying to film. To I'm be. trying to film. Oh. <laughs> this is atrocious right now. I'm trying to film. Oh. Make an episode here. Rock, uh, rock and the mosh. Mikey's. All right, jerk off. The jack jump's coming. We got a jack. We got a jack jump coming. We got a jack jump coming. coming. All right. Thirty-five okay. inch fish. This is the perfect oh, bass. It's too big. Damn it. Too big. All right, let's get it out. Really easy, 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 easy. Huh? Yeah, that's a big fish. Oh boy. Oh, we gotta release this. this. All right. I gotta put this down for a second. I gotta go back to film right now. All right, show the picture, show the love. Mike is still working over there. Oh uh, boy, oh, you're going to tune the door on him? He got him. Mike got a minute to tune it. Out. He's buffing, you gotta move that bo bucket then, pound bucket. And I'm not sure if my mirror, no, you don't. oh no, you know, he's going like this. Oh, hold on, ladies. Let's get the clam shot. Clam shot? There she is, <laughs> there she is. All right, ladies. All right, so let's see. Uh, 42 uh, hold inch her, hold fish. Hold her and just uh, 42 inch fish. Just make sure she's good to go. Alright, I'm gonna put the boat in gear, Michael, and just hold it nice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Mike. Alright, Mike, keep that fish. Alright, keep him going. He's, he's reviving that fish as Mikey's got a cluster ref going on. No, I'm, I'm a fine. Want to bit? We got, the, we got the release on. What well, yeah, what a mess we are. That was <laughs> nothing's tangled. All right. It's broken. Everything's good. Nice job. <sighs> Mike took a beating on that one. Hey. Why Mike. did I pick up that rod? Because you, oh, it, but don't forget you did say it was a small fish. <laughs> it never, it never <laughs> fought. 
I think you that Ma I think that Marcia's wound took All right. him. You sir are an ignoramus. He never fought. <laughs> yeah, never fought my. All right, yeah, I'm bleeping that out. That is so crazy. That freaking Marcia rod went parallel to the water. That's where you know you have a big one on. All right. But now we're gonna take a little side step right now. We're gonna do a con shout out. Who we're gonna use? We're gonna go for Andrew Hine. All right. I think it's his last name is Hein. I have to assume it is, alright? If not, I apologize, Andrew. But Andrew, right now, he's gonna do a live con shout out right now. He's gonna do a little weigh in. This is my 23 inch fluke. Let's see how much it weighs. What does it weigh? 4.6. There you go. So there you go, Andrew Hein with a four point, whatever the heck he just said. That's a great fish, by the way. Congratulations, Andrew, for being this week's con shout out of the week. Alright, now let's get to that next fish beep. Hola, Valenyes! Oh, fish on! On the spot! We're right on the spot! Alright, players, you gotta admit that was pretty funny. Michael went from a no fish to a sea robin to a 42 inch monster bass. When you see that rod get whacked like it did, it's a big girl on it, so just beware. Alright, now we get the next rod. We get the mojo rod straight down with a 16 ounce mojo and a 6 ounce mojo. That baby goes off, causes fish. I'm still freaking live feeding my Instagram feed, which is a complete toolbox move to this. I think I'm screwing up the whole video here. But uh, Michael uh, jumps to clear the rods, that's his function. All right, put the thing on autopilot and we are good to go. Michael clears the rod, I'm clearing the rod on the other side, and Kaz is on. All right, players, this is how I work here. I gotta film and shoot Mike at the same time. Let's get back to Mike. Seems to be coming close. Coming, coming close. close. Oh boy. We're in gear, we're a little hair of gear right now. I, those fish are exactly there, Michael. Yeah. Same perfect yeah. job. Oh. What'd you? Same guy. Nice. Alright, so get that as fast as you can because Mike causes. How close are you, kid? Oh, real, real close. Real Michael, real disregard real that. Super. Disregard that. Now walk up to ship, Mike. Walk up to the side of the boat. Michael? Uh, I, don't yeah. I don't know. It's up top. Alright, please. So you see how Mikey's walking up the uh, port side of that boat, keeping pressure on that fish. So it takes Kinetic, right? Nicely okay. done, Mikey Cards. Alright, that's a perfect shot bait right there. How bad did he kill my mojo? Not bad at all. That is perfect. 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 All right, we're gonna leave that guy out. We're good to go. Keep her on the boat, Mike. Mike, clear that rod, baby. I got some more water rod. Clear that rod, and uh, we're gonna keep that fish. All right, Mikey. Let's get that second spoon deployed. And uh, oh, hold that fish up, Mike. Yeah. Then we just got a nice uh, blue fish. Yeah. Perfect size. Yeah. Hold, uh, yeah. Shark. All right. Good. That's a great shark bait right on there. The Cascade a dish. All right, bluefish. Not what we want. Yeah, well, it is really what we want because that's over there in the freezer, ready for the next shark trip. All right, close to the Kenny. You're gonna see the next video. We back a bunch of them, and he's gonna be doing different things with them. All right, but that's Cars right there. And this trip that we just did, Michael and myself and Cars, was one of those trips where you could get away with it. It was a really quick run out there. We had to run west and we had to run at high speeds to get out to the grounds real quick and that's what we did can't do that with the small slow boat though so that's why that everglades came in really handy to us it was pretty fun doing it handled it like a champ really happy with that boat i hope i don't have buyer's remorse that i don't have a pilot house because we fished the following day on joey house's pilot house i think i'm all right with the everglades let's put it this way all right i'm really pleased with it. it's a sick boat and uh again it's a quick boat you can get out there and do what you gotta do the Parker will get you there, but it's going to take you a little while to get there and a little while to get back. And when you're fishing dust spikes, you really want to be able to boom, boom, in and out quick like Navy SEALs. Grab your fish and get the heck out of Dodge. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Kid Coach Chase Outdoors. A lot of stuff going on there. By the way, uh, quick ending. We had that fluke tournament on the weekend, Saturday. It just passed. We did the report that those big fish are going to be there. They're going to be there. Sure enough, I was on the money. I hate to say it, and it was right. But right out of the gates, we had the tournament. We challenged Stony Brook uh, Yacht Club. Stony Brook Yacht Club won. And I want to congratulate Stony Brook Yacht Club for that win. All right. They did a great job out there. They had a lot of boats. And it was a freaking pretty big competition. It was 37 boats out there. So it was a decent purse also. But Stony Brook had a sick fish. 8.9 pounds. The fish was massive that uh, this guy caught. All right. Once you reel that thing up. And he got it immediately. He dropped it right down when this tournament started. He got that over near the green cans right outside of uh, Stony Brook. And uh, that's that. He dropped it on the thing's head, thing bit, eight pounds, nine ounces. Two seconds into the tournament, he knew he won it, all right? But we had a great second place. Second place was Johnny, and we're gonna call him Yukon John now. Yukon came in second place with a five plus pounder. And then third place was Skip Hine, who's a great guy. Uh, and 
Eileen was out there with him, his daughter-in-law and his son was out there, and they wound up getting third place on a nice fluke as well, all right? So congratulations to all three of them, especially Stony Brook Yacht Club for winning that tournament. Sick, sick fish that guy got. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have a second, consider subscribing below. Hit the bell, do all that other jazz. Subscribe, hit the bell, comment below. Uh, and that's it. So stay tuned for this week's uh, Captain Report. Uh, that's getting a lot of good feedback from all these uh, people that DM me, email me, and they're also doing some commenting on the comments below. Uh, somebody in the comments made a comment, which is a pretty cool comment. All right? We do Captain's reviews here. So this guy kind of typed in the comments, I could do a report to you for Jer in Jersey also. But what he technically did, he's he made a report. So if you guys are out and about and you have certain areas you want to comment on, do it in the comments below, it's just because everybody reads them, I read them all. Uh, it's tough for me to get back to everybody and I apologize. Don't think I'm slighting you by not getting back to you because I kind of get a lot of emails and DMs and lots of stuff. And it's, 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 I'm not saying I'm freaking, as Mrs. Kid's shirt said, famous enough. It's, it has nothing to do with fame. It's just a question of keeping up to keep it up with people, all right? I love you all. You got money out there. I really do love this con. Uh, so make the comment below. Let people see it. Say, yo, I'm Johnny Jones from Jersey. We just hit this place. You, know, you could be as vague as you want to be, you know? Right now, what I'm going to tell you is the experience I'm getting right now is anywhere out in the Long Island Sound, you see bunker, all right? It doesn't have this. These fish that we're picking up are not even associated with structure. They're associated with bunker. So if you're on a flat day and you see or whatever, you go to some area and you're like driving by, there's always a bunker pod right there. For some reason, there's always a bunker pod. Throw out marshes, all right? They're very simple. It's a very simple technique, all right? Uh, I'm going to get into that technique. I'm going to make the simple, somehow I'm going to make a quick video of a simple setup, what I do. Two outboards, two inboards, simple as pie, all right? This is deep water with fishing, so you don't have to worry about blasting bottom, stuff like that. These fish right now are a dusk bite. Those bunker now are low. At the end of the day, they come up. A uh, bunker is a bunker. Is it one of the fish that spawns constantly? It's not like the striped bears. And these fish that we're catching are post-spawn fish. You'll see all these big-ass fish that we're catching. Very lean. They're already spawned out, which is great. These are coming out of the Hudson, heading out to do some damage on bunker pods. All right, they're getting their they got to get their eat on. So what they're doing is they are looking at these bunker pods and they just stay with them. So if you're in the middle of nowhere and you see bunker pods out there, you throw out those Tony Marsha spoons out there. They're devastating. I mean, I'm telling you, they're hard as nuts to reel in, yeah, as Tex was doing, and I did the same. I mean, they're hard, but you're going to catch the fish of your lifetime. And if you do catch that fish, treat it like a lady, try to get it back in the water, and have as little impact on that fish as you possibly can. Get that boat in gear. Pull it forward, don't push it back and forth. That kind of drowns the fish. You see a lot of people doing this shiitake with fish in the water. I'm like, oh. As you go backwards, the fish drowns. So you go forward, it's, it's bueno. So just hold the fish either on the top of the mouth or the lower mouth, you get that fish underwater, and then have that boat just at a, at a very small, you know, engage forward and just let that fish go. The forward motion gives oxygen to that fish's gill plate and gills, and it gives that fish the opportunity to say hello to you the next day, all right? So take care, everybody. Make sure you brush your hair. There's a slight wind out here, so brush your hair. Take care. How you doing, ladies? May the moon get the ditch and all that stuff, all right? Shake it easy. I'm out of here. Hey, folks. Thanks again for watching Kick Coach East Outdoors. Hopefully that wasn't too long for you. Uh, consider subscribing below, like, and do all that jazz, all right? Thank you to our sponsors.